Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Davenport and I want to take a moment and go over some of the greenhouse safety rules that we will be utilizing this year as a part of my classroom. So let's take a moment and go over our greenhouse safety rules. Um, a copy of this um, is also going to be in your Canvas module for you to review at your leisure. But let's go over these rules so that we can all know exactly what we are supposed to do when, and how we are supposed to do it. All right, guys, here we go. Let's take a look at these rules. We're gonna zoom in a little bit more so that you guys can see them. So, first rule, the number one rule is do not work in the greenhouse alone. Um, we will go to the greenhouse as a group. We will line up at the back door and wait for me to tell you when to go. And we will stop at the gray door where the mechanics room is uh, and pause and then wait until we say, I say go. We don't cross the road until Mr. Davenport is there leading the line and double checking to make sure that everyone is out of the classroom. And then when we head back, we line up and return to the classroom. Now, when we go to the greenhouse, we wear closed toed shoes. Okay, no sandals, no flip flops, tennis shoes, work shoes, closed toed shoes, basically the things that you would normally wear uh, in working around um, dirt, soil, and sharp objects. Um, we do not drink water from the hose or from the faucets in the greenhouse. The reason is, is that oftentimes those hoses are hooked up so that we can easily fertilize our uh, plants. So don't drink the water from the water hoses. Just bad idea. Don't, don't do that. Always wash hands after working in the greenhouse and before eating or drinking when you have worked in the greenhouse. In the event of lightning or hail or strong winds, uh, you will immediately leave the greenhouse for a more secure structure. That means we're going to head back to the building as quickly as possible. Uh, number six, in the event of a fire, we immediately evacuate the greenhouse and set up the fire alarm and notify the authorities. The polycarbonate acrylic greenhouse coverings, they're very, very flammable and the fumes are hazardous. So if there's a fire, we are going to hightail it out of there and leave as soon as possible. Um, many of the tools that we use in the greenhouse are sharp, okay? These include garden hose, shovels, and rakes. We have to make sure that we are using these tools appropriately and with appropriate caution, okay? We use tools for their appropriate and intended purpose. These two are tools, not toys. If you're caught using a tool inappropriately, you will be removed from the greenhouse area, period. No questions asked, okay? And I, I don't care who starts it, it's on your end if you are caught using a tool inappropriately. Water hoses are, and sprayers are not water guns. Again, we use our tools appropriately. Now, the greenhouse floors can get slippery, okay? Um, the algae on the floors can get slippery and propagation areas usually have some kind of algae. We try to clean them up, but sometimes there's just not a lot of avoiding it. And so what's going to happen is we're going to make sure that uh, we stay on the rubber mats and we stay on the ground when possible. And we may need to treat the uh, mats and floors to reduce algal growth. We wear safety glasses and, let's see, sorry, getting a little bit lost. We wear safety glasses and gloves when working with chemicals or pruning or using machinery in the greenhouse area. Very much like a lab safety setting, but same rules apply. 
Number 12, if dealing with electricity in the greenhouse, be careful. Make sure that the tool is well grounded and that the extension cords are adequate to carry the current. Avoid using electrical equipments when the floors are wet or near any kind of moisture pads. Um, number 13, all school rules are going to be followed when in the greenhouse area. It is not playtime. It is not recess. We are going out to work. And last, do not waste materials. Soil and fertilizer and plants cost money. These materials have either been purchased or donated for us to use as instructional material. Wasting materials is like wasting money. So we use things appropriately and when instructed. Plants are worth money. The Spring Creek uh, Middle School FFA chapter and the Agricultural um, Education Department, we sell plants as a source of funding. Damaging these plants is damaging a source of income that can then be used to fund the greenhouse and fund the things that we want to do in class. So guys, basically don't waste materials and don't damage our plants. So that uh, clears up our uh, safety rules and our rules for greenhouse work. If you have any questions, refer to the documents in Canvas and if you have any further questions, contact me, Mr. Davenport. Y'all have a good day.